Hi, dear little friend. Welcome to our Moonlit Meadows Tales. Today, we're going to explore one of the brightest stars in the universe, the sun. The sun is a star in our solar system. A star is a celestial body that emits light and energy in the universe. It is the bright sphere we see every day, providing light and warmth to Earth. The Sun is the largest celestial body in the solar system, with a diameter about 109 times that of Earth. Though it may appear small in the sky, the Sun is actually massive, capable of holding about one million Earths. The sun's mass is also immense, about 330,000 times that of Earth. Imagine the sun like a giant, glowing ball of gas, kind of like a big, fiery balloon in the sky. But did you know that inside this fiery balloon, there are different layers, and each layer plays an important role in making the sun the shining star that lights up our sky every day? Core. Right in the middle of the sun is the core. It's like the hottest, most jam-packed part of the sun. Atoms, like tiny building blocks, get squished together so tight that they make a special kind of energy called nuclear fusion. This energy is what makes the sun shine so brightly. Radiative zone. Imagine this layer like a big pot of soup simmering on the stove. The energy made in the core slowly travels through this layer, like bubbles in the soup. But instead of bubbles, tiny bits of light called photons are moving around, carrying the sun's energy outwards. Convective zone. This layer is like a big pot of boiling water. The heat from below makes the stuff in this layer bubble and move around a lot. This movement helps carry the sun's energy up to the surface. Photosphere. This is where the sun's light finally gets to escape into space, and it's the part of the sun we see from Earth. Chromosphere. It's made of gas, but it's much thinner than the other layers. During special times, like during a solar eclipse, we can see a reddish ring around the sun, and that's the chromosphere saying hello. Corona. Imagine this layer like a big, glowing halo around the sun. It's made of super hot gas that stretches out into space. Even though it's really hot, it's also really thin. So we can't usually see it with our eyes unless there's a total solar eclipse. The sun is an intensely hot sphere with a surface temperature reaching about 5,500 degrees Celsius. Such high temperatures result from continuous nuclear fusion reactions occurring within the sun's core. The sun emits not only visible light, but also various other types of light, including ultraviolet and infrared. By analyzing these different wavelengths of light, Scientists can form the solar spectrum, aiding in understanding the sun's composition and properties. The solar spectrum appears as a continuous rainbow band, encompassing all colors of light, which is the principle behind the rainbow we see in the sky. The sun is one of the primary sources of energy for Earth, providing energy for photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants, algae, and some bacteria convert light energy into chemical energy to fuel growth. Without sunlight, photosynthesis wouldn't be possible, and life on Earth as we know it would cease to exist. It also serves as a source for many renewable energy sources used in our daily lives, such as solar panels. The sun drives Earth's climate systems, such as wind and water cycles, 
playing a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance. The sun possesses a powerful magnetic field, influencing solar activities such as sunspots and coronal mass ejections. These solar activities can impact Earth's magnetic field, leading to phenomena like auroras. The sun's magnetic field is also the source of solar wind, a stream of charged particles that affects Earth's ionosphere. The sun is at the center of the solar system, with planets, moons, and asteroids orbiting around it. Its gravitational pull causes other celestial bodies to revolve around it, forming the familiar structure of our solar system. The sun's mass and gravity play significant roles in the motion and stability of celestial bodies within the solar system. Through understanding the sun, we gain a deeper appreciation of the magnificence and complexity of the universe. Thank you all for joining me in exploring the wonders of the sun. Good night and sweet dream, little friend.